Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you receive your credit card statement and bill, you can reconcile your credit card account in QuickBooks Online to the bill. This ensures purchases and payments are properly tracked and helps prevent unauthorized use of the credit card. After reconciling the credit card account, QuickBooks Online also offers to automatically enter a check to pay the credit card now or enter a bill to pay the credit card later. You can also choose to manually enter a check or bill to pay the credit card later if desired. To reconcile a credit card account, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Reconcile link that appears under the Tools heading in the drop-down menu to open the Reconcile page. The first time you open this page, you can click the Get Started button to continue. Then click the Let's Get Reconciled button in the pop-up window that opens to finally open the Reconcile page. When you return to this page in the future, it will immediately show the Reconcile page instead. In the Reconcile page, select the Credit Card Account to Reconcile from the Account drop-down. For the selected account, enter the Account Statement information into the Add the Following Information section. The account's beginning balance appears to the left. Enter the statement's ending balance into the ending balance field. Then enter the statement's ending date into the ending date field. If needed, then enter any finance charge into the Enter the Finance Charge if Necessary section. Select the date the finance charge was assessed from the Date Calendar Selector field. Then enter any finance charge amount into the Finance Charge field. Then select the account used to track finance charge fees from the adjacent expense account drop-down. To reconcile the account after entering the statement information, click the Start Reconciling button at the bottom of the window. In the Reconcile Account Name page that opens, the transactions for the account as of the statement ending date appear on the Charges, Payments, and All tabs. You can click these tabs to filter the transactions in the list below to show only the associated types of account transactions. Clicking the Charges tab shows only credit card charges in the transaction list. Clicking the Payments tab shows payments in the transaction list. Clicking the All tab shows all account transactions. The information you entered from the account statement appears at the top of the page. The purpose of this page is to click the small circles at the right end of the transaction rows that appear in the account statement to mark them as cleared by placing a check mark in the circles. After all transactions are found and marked as cleared, the difference shown in the upper right corner of the window should be zero. This means every account transaction in the statement is matched to a transaction in QuickBooks Online and therefore the transactions in both versions of the account are reconciled. By default, the list of transactions hides transactions that occur after the statement's end date. To show all transactions, click the X button to the left of the statement ending date filter in the upper left corner of the transaction list, or click the clear filter slash view all link in this same area to remove all filters. To apply filters to the transaction list, Click the Filter drop-down button in the upper left corner of the transaction list to select from Filtering Choices in the drop-down menu. Then click the Apply button in the drop-down menu to apply the filters you selected. You can remove applied filters by clicking the X button to the left of the applied filter's name or by clicking the Clear Filter slash View All link. If needed to change the account statement's information you entered, Click the Edit Info button in the upper right corner of this page to open and edit the information from your statement pane at the right side of the window. Change the account statement information as needed, and then click the Save button in the lower right corner of this pane to return to the Reconcile Account Name page. Click the Cancel button in this pane to leave without saving any changes. The information at the top of the page shows the statement ending balance minus the cleared balance, which should produce a difference of zero after completing the account reconciliation. The account's beginning balance, minus the total charges and payments selected in the transaction list, also appear here. The drop-down button in the upper right corner of the page lets you manage the account reconciliation. 
After successfully reconciling an account, click or select the Finish Now command from this drop-down button to save it and close the page. To save your work if you want to finish reconciling an account later, or to leave to investigate an account discrepancy, select the Save for Later command from this drop-down button to save your work and close the page. To return to finish the account reconciliation later, click the Settings button and then click the Reconcile link under the Tools heading in the drop-down menu again. Then select the same account again and click the adjacent Resume Reconciling button to continue from where you left off. To remove all your changes and close the reconciliation, select the Close Without Saving command from this drop-down button to open a We'll Remove All of Your Changes confirmation prompt window. Then click the Close Without Saving button in this window to confirm. Alternatively, to return to the reconciliation, click the Go Back button in the prompt window. After completing a credit card account reconciliation, a You Reconciled This Account window appears on screen. If you have a credit card balance to pay, you then see two links here. To pay the credit card balance by check or by bill, click either the Pay All or a Portion of the Bill Now link or the Enter a Bill to Pay Later link. Alternatively, to not enter a bill or make a payment right now, click the Done button instead. If you click the Pay All or a Portion of the Bill Now link, QuickBooks Online Plus creates a check to pay the credit card balance. You then select the vendor to pay by using the Select a Payee drop-down within the check and verify and or change the other details of the check like its bank account and payment date to ensure its accuracy. Then either choose one of the Save drop-down button options to save the check or click the Print Check link to print the check. You can then click the Done button in the You Reconciled This Account window to close it. Alternatively, if you click the Enter a Bill to Pay Later link, QuickBooks creates a bill to pay the balance of the credit card account. Select the correct vendor to pay by using the Select a Vendor drop-down within the bill and verify and or change the other details of the bill, like its bill date, and due date to ensure its accuracy. Then choose one of the Save drop-down button options within the bill window to save the bill for payment later. You can then click the Done button in the You Reconciled This Account window to close it. Alternatively, if you click the Done button in the You Reconciled This Account window without entering a check or a bill, QuickBooks does nothing to pay the credit card balance. It simply leaves the balance in the account. You will need to manually enter a bill, create a check, or create a pay down credit card transaction later to pay the balance in the credit card account. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.